Hey everybody, welcome back. Day 17, 17 days uh, as we count down to the Magic Kingdom's 50th anniversary. Well, today is actually one of my favorites. If you've been watching, you saw I struggled a little bit with the apples. I struggled with that cupcake, that Mickey hidden cupcake. But today, I'm back in my wheelhouse. We're going to California Grill and we're making the Sonoma Goat Cheese Ravioli. This is one of my favorite appetizers. It's a simple dish. Um, follow along with simple ingredients that you can you can get anywhere. Let's go. All right, so in a, in a bowl, I have, uh, this is just regular goat cheese. You can pick up the goat cheese uh, local supermarkets, nothing special about it. So we're going to add goat cheese and then we're going to add some dried goat cheese to it. Um, the dried goat cheese that I'm using today, it's actually called a drunken goat cheese. Um, all that means is that um, it was aged with uh, the rind inside of wine. Um, it adds a little bit of flavor, a little bit different, coarse um, goat cheese. Next, we're going to add some panko. So the panko is actually going to uh, add uh, a way to combine the soft goat cheese and the hard goat cheese. Um, crispy panko, it's going to add a little bit of that uh, binding crunch to it. Next, now this is where we do it a little differently. I'm using sun-dried tomato pesto. Uh, you might have seen me use this on the uh, flatbreads. Uh, it's just a simple pesto made out of sun-dried tomatoes. So we're going to add a little bit of that. I have some pureed garlic. I'm um, going to add just a touch of pureed garlic into that. And then the infamous salt and pepper. And we just give this a mix. Okay, so once everything's nice and combined, it's actually going to give you like a paste. Um, and this is your filling for your ravioli. Okay, so we'll just put this to the side. Now for our raviolis, on a clean surface, um, I'm not making pasta today. I'm using wonton wrappers. These can be found in an Asian market. Um, if you'd like, you can use the large ones that we made for the cheeseburger egg rolls, um, and you can cut them out. But these are simple. Um, it gives you the right size that I'm looking for. So. I just suggest making two at a time. Okay. And. Okay. And then from that, we're going to take uh, egg wash. So it's just uh, one egg with a little bit of water. And you're just going to get your, your brush. And you want to paint the whole thing. So you're going to paint the whole bottom. Okay. Now this gives it full coverage for it to stick when we add the top layer. Okay. Now we're going to take that uh, goat cheese mixture that we have. Take a melon baller, a large size of a melon baller, or if you have the small ice cream scoop. I need to get one of those. I've never had the small ice cream scoops. But so I'm going to use the whole amount right there. Don't overstuff these. Everybody wants to overstuff them and they think that they're going to get more in there and there'll be enough coverage. And you're going to place it right on top and push down gently until the sides meet. Once the sides meet, you want to push out all the air around your filling. Keeping your filling in the center and just pushing down on the two sheets and that egg is going to work as a glue. And we'll do the same with the other side. Just pushing down gently around the sides. Until they stick. Now, if you're making large batches of these, I would suggest taking them and adding them onto, onto a tray or a plate and putting them into the refrigerator. If you want, you can use a little bit of cornmeal to keep them separated, um, or just throw them onto a plate with maybe uh, wax paper. You don't want that to stick though. 
Okay, once the sides are, are pushed down and you're ready to go on to the next one, all you want to do is just go right underneath, nice and flat, and right onto a plate. Alright, so let me talk about the sauce first. So all I did was take uh, beef steak tomatoes and um, I just peeled them, put them in boiling water and you peel the skins, remove the seeds, dice it, throw it into a blender and then strain it. Uh, a little bit of kosher salt and we just leave that on the heat uh, reducing by itself. As you can see I got my water starting to boil for the ravioli. So at that point we're going to make the, the rest of the dish. So to a pan a little touch of olive oil. And then some red onions. And we're going to let the onions, you want the onions to saute. Remember, salt breaks down onions, so add your salt and pepper right away. All right, now at this point, we're going to add some sun-dried tomatoes. You could add mushrooms. Um, if I had mushrooms, I'd probably add some porcini mushrooms to this, or baby portobellas. All you're doing is trying to get a nice sear on these, get these flavors broken down, mixed into each other. Okay, and I'm going to add my raviolis in here. Remember, when you add anything, you just want to always get any pasta, right? You're going to stir it. Just going to give them a quick mix so they don't stick together. Just boiling water and a little bit of salt. Make sure your water tastes like the ocean. Okay, these are nice and caramelized now. Got good color on them. All right, so we have our ravioli. Nice and easy, right into the bowl. I'm going to top that with some of the uh, sun-dried tomato and onions. Again, folks, remember, if you wanted to add the uh, mushrooms to that, you could have. And then we have our sauce, very light sauce. I'm going to dress it right over the top. I'm going to finish that with some micro basil. Put that guy right there. And then finish with a little bit of olive oil. Give that a wipe. And then what I'd like to do is just finish it. Remember that, that drunken goat cheese we were talking about? I'm just going to give it a quick little punch with some grated drunken goat cheese. There you go, folks. That's the Sonoma uh, goat cheese ravioli from California Grill. You know what's next. All right, here we go. Mm. Wow, the brightness of the sun-dried tomato gives it that acid. You gotta remember, goat cheese is very tart, but smooth and creamy. Um, this works out perfect. It's exactly like the dish that I've had at uh, California Grill so many times. It's the famous uh, Sonoma goat cheese ravioli. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did, and tell you what, this was definitely a lot easier than making those hidden Mickey cupcakes. Well, 17 down, we got more to go. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends, tell your friends. Much more to come. Till next time.